Welcome back. Dramatic pause for effect. To counterculture. How effective was it? It was not very effective. Okay. Uh, you're Pastor Mark. Not still. Yet. I am. I you have are not still changed. Pastor Mark. I have changed, but not. I have not changed being Pastor Mark. We could probably talk about that. We could. But we're not going no, to. We're not going to. We have other fish to eggs fry. to fry. Fish, fish, to, fish, fish. to fry. Eggs well, I have fry. eggs. Eggs too. Okay. Eggs and fish. Eggs and chickens to fry. Yes. Carry yeah. on. Yes. Carry on. Psalm 72. My, yeah. I, I only want to use the first <clears> verse <throat> that will surprise you. The first verse says, Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to your royal son. We live in a culture that is obsessed, preoccupied sometimes with justice. Mm. Justice, justice, justice. We, we want justice all the time. We want justice in our in our own lives. We go to the store, we were treated poorly, we didn't get what we wanted, we got whatever, we want justice. What are you gonna do to make this right is a common theme, right? We want justice. Or as Sally said in The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, I want restitution. That's exactly right. It's a very big word. Yes. We, we, we do, we want that, mm -hmm. right? We want justice. Right. So first of all, <clears throat> when we talk about the justice, in, in your, in your world, what's the definition of justice? I, I think you you put it. We want uh, most of the time. I think it means fairness is what most of us are thinking. I mean, that's kind of, and it's it falls short. That's not really. We want we want things to be made right. In, in our eyes, in say, our eyes, according, <laughs> according to who? The, and by law. Yes, yes. According to Mark, I want it right. Isn't it? It's funny because I, I've gone, I've gone to dinner with people much like you have, and I've endured. I'm going to say that because I really don't like going to dinner with people that I don't know because it is enduring sometimes, mm -hmm. right? How people mm -hmm. treat the waiters, the waitresses, the staff, all Ooh. that stuff, right? Yes. But I have been with people who they get food done not to their liking, and they just politely send it back and say, "Hey, could you could you do this again?" I asked mm -hmm. for medium well, and you gave me well done, and it makes a big difference to me. Right. I don't want shoe leather, right? Right. right. And they <clears> politely <throat> just say, "Can you take it back?" I've been with people who have impolitely asked them to take it back, right? Mm -hmm. I, and and have made a big scene. And at the end of those, it's funny because usually, usually, the people who make the big scene. And get the manager coming out and saying, "Hey, we'll make this right. You don't, we, you won't have to pay for it. All that type of stuff." And some people do that so they don't have to pay exactly, for it. exactly. But the people yeah. who don't make a big deal about it, just send it back. They usually end up paying for their meal. Mm -hmm. Neither one happy. Both had to wait for it to be redone, mm -hmm. right? Which one? Which one actually gets justice in your eyes? <laughs> Uh, well, I would say the, the one who was more polite <clears throat> because they, they're getting ultimately, well, you could argue both of them are getting what they want, <laughs> exactly. what they think is right. Mm -hmm. you know, so, but from my perspective, the one who did it politely <sighs> maybe had more justice, <laughs> okay, um, because they... So, we tend to think justice is getting what we deserve. Mm -hmm. Mercy is getting what we don't deserve. Right. Mm -hmm. Which, we all, we all say we want justice. I'll tell you what I need is I need mercy more than I need justice. Amen. A -A -A but we're told, in, in, uh, is it Micah, to, uh, to act justly, to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Is the right thing, so let's take your scenario, is the right thing to make a scene to be a creep? Uh -huh. Or is the right thing to say, you know what, I, it probably wasn't intentional. Uh, one of my, where I go to get steak, sometimes uh -huh. they'll get Sandy's and my steaks messed up. You know, we do. But Flip the steaks over. We, you know, we, we make it right. We make it right within ourselves. We don't make a scene. Uh -huh. uh, which tells you that someone's probably got a big, bigger issues if they have to do that, you know. It, it, it's, it, so I remember someone using the example one time. Here, here let's, so let's. I'm, okay, I'm just thinking out loud here. Uh -huh. Sometimes our sense of justice is directly tied to our our sense of shame. Ooh, yes. 
Yeah. So you have the you have the gang member who kills someone because they were well. Why did you kill them? Because they were standing in my my section of the sidewalk. <laughs> they were across the line. When your dignity comes down to a section of sidewalk, you got big problems. You got big problems. Mm -hmm. Uh, or your dignity comes down to a church pew where you sit. We were talking uh, about that earlier yeah, today. Yep. Uh, y you know, or your dignity comes down to, I've, I've always played the piano. <laughs> you know, um, you, you got a problem. You, you got a problem. And the, the, so then when, when our dignity is challenged, mm -hmm. then we have to, well, I, I'm just... I'm not going to be treated this way. Okay, so we, th we want to be treated fairly. And, and, you know, we hear the word today, microaggressions. Yeah. Yep. You know, and it's like you're a, you're a dirtbag if you have a microaggression. The microaggression is something that, you you know, they didn't really mean to say it. It just came out, okay, whatever. You know, and so now you got to walk on eggshells all the time. You know, can't we just accept, I know you didn't mean it that way. Yeah. They probably didn't mean it that way. No, you, 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 you do, and we can tell the difference. I'm sorry, but you can tell the difference. <clears throat> I, I, I love this this concept, right? Because justice is almost always in the eye of the beholder. Yes, right? absolutely. We, we go in front of the judge. He decides what our fate is. And we decide and decry whether, whether it was real justice or not. And then we'll appeal if it's not. Even if it was justice, yep. then we, we say, well, I'm still going to appeal it because it didn't turn out the way... I want it. Yep. And we look to the left and we look to the right and how other people are treated. I think of that. I've said it before. Every single time I go by a police car who's had somebody pulled over, mm -hmm. I think, why did that person get pulled over? Mm -hmm. Right? Like a whole bunch of people probably speeding before and after. Why did that person get pulled yep. over? And that yep. person probably thinking the same thing. Why did I get pulled over? Right? But the, the truth is justice is... I love this psalm. I love this verse because who is appealed to here? God. Mm -hmm. God, you give me justice. Right. Right? So again, as Christians, we, we, we aren't looking for justice according to you and I. We're looking for justice according to God. Right? I think about that example and I think, <laughs> like, justice according to God is sometimes just remaking the stake. It's not, yeah. it's not right. shaming somebody Right. It's not trying to get it all free. You agreed and you were going to pay for the stake no matter what. Right. It's it's not about restitution. Matter of fact, I, I read my understanding is the Eastern concept of justice, mm -hmm. which is the Bible is written from not a Western perspective, an Eastern perspective. And specifically, God's sense of justice is about making things right. And specifically, people right. Yes. If yeah. we say God is just... He is the one who is going to make things right. In his eyes, not ours, his eyes. And can we trust his, you know, we say, well, God is love. Yes, but God is just too, and he's got to do what's right. Yeah, just and that. sometimes, yes, what's right is to show love. Yeah, no doubt. You know, sometimes <clears throat> it's about just holding. And, uh, just holding. It, and is love, oh, you know, we say, well, we just got to love people. I hear that all the time. Well, and what they mean is, well, just don't challenge them, don't know. If I really love you, and if you know, I'm going to say, Andrew, is, you can do better than that. You're a better person than that. It means I'm going to hold you in the sense, as we talked about earlier today, uh, I may hold you to a higher standard. I may also say, Andrew, you're a better person than that. You know what I, I, I don't love, lower yourself to this. I, I love what we did on Chasing the Wind about just hold me, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think about that. You know, sometimes we're yelling at somebody to get our message across. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I have been in the arms of people where they just whisper something to you. Yes, yes. And it works a hundred times better mm -hmm. than you screaming at me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Scrap the mean things. Scrap the right, thing. Right. Just hold me. <clears throat> and, and sometimes it's just about that gentle whisper that yes. will cut through everything. Yes. And it'll be like, yeah, and just yeah. melt you. And 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 I, I used to facilitate uh, some teaching on the DISC behavioral profiling. Yep. Okay. And and one of the things I would explain to people is part of the reason we're teaching you this and helping you understand who you are is, but also helping you understand and look for other people. Right. Okay. So I was in a in a situation where. I, I had two people I was working with, and one was a very detailed person. They were, you know, mm -hmm. and I knew if they asked me a question, they were going to want details. Yep. So, and I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, 
rough carpenter. I'm not a finished carpenter. Okay? <laughs> although I can be. Although I can be. I'm not a carpenter. Um, you know, uh, I paint in broad strokes. You know, the detail stuff. You know, I can get there, but it's not my favorite thing. Just get the yeah. thing done, you know. And so I knew if I was going to communicate with this person in an effective way, I needed to have more detail. The other, the other one, they did not want emotions at all. Just give me the facts. Just get to the point. I don't care about how anybody felt, what was going on, what you felt. Just tell me the fact. And so I would try to explain to them, um, it, understand the people you're with. Mm, yep. Because if, if one of them is, is kind of a more... A, a, a loyal kind of person and they're like concerned about making sure everybody they're more of a servant type mm -hmm. um, a golden retriever so to speak mm -hmm. you know they just want they're, they're friendly to everybody and they want to meet as many needs well okay so I need to keep that in mind they may not like change or whatever too many times they say so on, on that I'm you know I'm kind of a party animal free spirit well some people aren't like that and so I got to realize it can overwhelm people if I go to my heart and go to my emotions they may not be there and so I got to I, you know, so we tend to communicate with people that way. We tend to also see our sense of justice. Well, you got justice. Well, no, in your eyes, maybe I did, but I don't, I'm not satisfied. I demand satisfaction. I, com I, I challenge you to a duel out in the <laughs> whatever room that is. The big in. room, the great hall. The great hall. Ooh. Pistols at 10 paces. Maybe we could do pixie sticks. Okay. All right. Good. All right. I, I think I, I love what you're saying, right? I love what you're saying, and I think it's a fantastic place to end right now and pick it up again on a counterculture, uh, a different counterculture, because i got some questions now for you. So, <laughs> we'll leave it right there, asking you to think about what kind of justice you are looking for, and who are you looking to dole out that justice. Amen. Think about those things. We'll see you next time. Counterculture. Grace and peace.